Hello, this is Gali Gopar, and thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about the three lifestyle changes that affect genes and can help you with weight loss. If you often feel that eating less, eating healthy, or working out is just not enough for you to lose weight, you are not alone. And if you think that it might be because of you, you have faulty genes, then you're also not alone, and science is there to back you up. But you can actually change the destiny of these faulty genes with a few lifestyle modifications. In essence, some people have a harder time losing weight than others, and this mostly comes from variations of specific genes that they possess. At the moment, scientists know of over 70 gene alterations which are linked to obesity. Most of them influence how the body stores fat from food or how it breaks it down. And some genes deal with the signals that tell you that you're no longer hungry. These gene variations are called polymorphisms. With such strong influence on the body, you can often find people who share the same exact diet, and yet one is losing weight and the other is losing it much, much more slowly. Even though it might seem that genetic polymorphisms cannot be affected because it's the genetic makeup of the person, the truth is that you can definitely change these genes expressions and subsequently influence your weight. These specific lifestyle practices can indeed affect your genes because epigenetics plays a significant role in which genes turn on and are expressed and which are not. The FTO or the FATSO gene uh, as it is also called, <laughs> is probably the most studied of all obesity genes. The gene affects our hunger levels and the amount of food we eat. It acts as a sort of nutrient sensor. It means that people with individual variations in this gene want to eat more than they actually need. Scientists have already pointed out some of these variations in people with very high BMIs. Counteracting hunger can be very, very hard to do. But a way to turn off this gene's expression is through exercise. Harder physical activity can combat the FATSO gene. It has been proven that it is enough for people with this gene variation to exercise for 30 minutes, five days a week, to keep this gene turned off. Now, another weight affecting gene is the PPAR gamma pathway, which regulates fat and glucose metabolism and fatty acid storage. The gene creates fat cells and assists the uptake of dietary fats from the blood. If this gene is activated more than usual, then you will gain weight and be at more significant risk for heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. However, the gene can be affected through diet. People with the PPAR gamma pathway polymorphism are more sensitive to the adverse effects of fat and refined carbohydrates. Therefore, these people need to eat less fats and more whole grain carbohydrates, fruits, and vegetables. Only a very moderate amount of fat intake should be consumed with a focus on plant-based fats by people with this gene polymorphism. With a few corrections to your diet, you could easily affect this gene and stop gaining weight because of it. Now, the third genetic variation is regarding methylation. Without a healthy rate of methylation, you will have lowered metabolism and it will be easier for you to gain weight. The polymorphisms involved here are the PGC1-alpha, which regulates genes involved in energy metabolism, and trans transcription A, which correlates with higher rates of obesity. Now, the amount of methylation is affected by several things like age and race, which can't be changed. But diet can change the amount of methylation. And optimal eating can bring back the amount of methylation to optimal levels and in turn help you lose weight much more quickly and easily. Now, foods that increase methylation include foods especially abundant in the B vitamins, especially folic acid and choline. Now these foods include beans and lentils, green leafy vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, and peas. Now if you add these to your diet daily, you increase methylation and help yourself lose weight. So to conclude, even if you do happen to have most of these gene polymorphisms and you have a hard time losing weight, it is definitely not impossible. 
With a few lifestyle and dietary changes, you can effectively change your genes and significantly influence your weight. All you need to do is persist with these changes until they become your new habitual behaviors. I know this is not easy, but once these become habitual behaviors, the gene expression is turned off and your new weight will be yours for good. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more information on health, weight loss and nutrition, please visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.